Oh, Nintendo, how I love thee. The amount of games that have come out of Nintendo is just insane. The world as it is now would not be the same without Nintendo. Modern gaming has evolved since the cartridge era, but that doesn't mean it's still not a valid way of play. A lot of people still enjoy their old NES games that they played when they were a kid. Or people like me who didn't even grow up with the system and still play the games. But one of the biggest complaints about gaming nowadays is the fact that consoles are very complicated. Very hardware intensive, very difficult to manage. You know, you've got your consoles with your Netflix and your high definition and your first person shooters and stuff like that. and they just kind of don't hold together as well. You see, back in the day, things were more simple. People just did whatever with their consoles. It really didn't matter. They would take a beating like nothing else. It was insane. One of the worst things that you can do to a piece of technology is get it wet. So, since the NES has remained to be one of the most resilient systems of all time, I figure, why don't we take a cartridge and, uh, Get it wet. You gotta beat Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's punch out from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. So what I decided to do is, is I put the cartridge in the washer, like the, the clothing washer, to see how bad that would damage it. And it turned out to be uh, quite interesting. The cartridge we'll be using today is a copy of Al Lancer Jr. Turbo Racing. A uh, super fucking unknown game. I don't know what the fuck this game is. I don't even know why I fucking have it. I'm also going to be using the Retron 1 console, which is a reproduction of the NES, so I don't ruin my actual NES. Now, in order to make sure that you get the authentic experience and you know that I did not tamper with this process at all, I did leave a small Sharpie marking on the cartridge for you guys. Uh, so you know that it's legitimate. I checked it about two or three times while I was filming it. Weirdly enough, uh, there were like what looked like chunks of stuff floating around in the bubbly water and uh, the cartridge was bouncing all over the place. It was, it was a mess. It sounded like it was almost shattering inside the washer, but I was pretty sure it wasn't. So uh, I think it did okay. When I pulled it out, I could tell that the entire thing was just sopping wet. I, I had no idea if it would work or not. It, it kind of looked like it was fucked. If you look here, the label is all torn up. And I know I heard plastic rumbling around in there. But, you know, there's that simple little, little symbol of authenticity right there. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh boy. Now since the thing was so sopping wet, I decided to go put it out on the balcony to dry off. I figured the sun would be the only thing that I could use to dry it off. And I wasn't able to open the cartridge either because I don't have a safety bit to open up the back little screws. So I was really just hoping that there wasn't going to be half a cup of water in it whenever I decided to plug it into the Retron. I wasn't filming when it happened, but I actually dropped the cartridge in the backyard of my neighbor's house from the balcony, which was pretty stupid. So I kind of fucked up. Uh, right now I'm having to go down and get the cartridges I dropped off the patio like an idiot. So uh, there's door. Hey, sorry. I, I live above you. I dropped something on your uh, your back porch. Do, uh, do you mind if I go back there and go get it real quick? Yeah, okay. All right, in the back? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, I'm having to go to the back of the house now. I don't know why, to be honest, but he was shirtless, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. What a weird thing that just happened. After about an hour or so, the cartridge was dry. I 
shook it around, couldn't hear any more water in it, and uh, the outside was dry as well. Here's the real money shot. Let's see if this baby works after all the abuse I've put it through. May I remind you that it has not only been through the wash, but it has also dropped a very far distance from my apartment to my neighbor's apartment. There it goes. I can't believe it's working. It may not be the best game for the Nintendo, but hey, at least it's got that Nintendo seal that'll keep it all together even through the rain and the storm. Here it is. There's a victim. Super torn up on the label. Still got the little, uh, little wiener on it. You know, I'm so surprised that this made it through. Uh, I really didn't think it would. Anyways, thank you for watching so much, guys.